So Twitter, you need to work out the difference between posts and spam. Posts are um, interacting with people, speaking to people online, the way you would do face-to-face, uh, -face, um, and not, I mean, you wouldn't walk up to someone in the street and say, um, I've got a, uh, some hair straighteners on offer here, do you want to buy them? <laughs> that's the difference, that's how some people use Twitter, and that's just wrong, that's spam. So it's the difference between posts, sending people, A, could be some good stuff you find uh, on the internet, so you're sharing someone else's information, a tweet that someone else has sent onto the internet that you think is good, so you retweet it, or just talking to people. Uh, every so often, um, promote your own stuff, but in a very subtle way. I've written a blog post you may find interesting, but maybe in about one in 12 in every tweet should be some very soft marketing. Otherwise, it's very spammy and people will be immediately turned off. Because remember, it's called social media for a reason. Find the leaders in your industry. So. If you do have an electrical online, uh, online electrical store, is to find the people on Twitter who are doing that as well. See what they're doing, and see what they're doing well. Don't, not necessarily copy them, you know, have your own slant on things, but see, see what they're doing and see why they're popular. Use hashtags to syndicate content. Um, so first of all, search. search. Search for people in your industry, but search for topics of conversation and look at the hashtags. Hashtags just syndicate content. Um, so look at that and uh, follow them and use hashtags in your tweets. Use search a lot. Um, you should be using search about 65% of your Twitter activity if you're in marketing to see what people are saying about products, saying about you, if you don't want to pay for um, some of the more expensive um, tools that do this for you, you can use search. Remember, engagement is two-way. It's a conversation. Be consistent in your message, we've said that. Avoid over promotion, help and promote others. So when there are people asking for help or asking for recommendations online, um, answer their questions. And that's how social media works and how the referral marketing bit works because people will talk about your product if it's good. Um, a lot of companies use Twitter just for customer service. You know, uh, Best Buy in America have the Twelp Force um, and they've got about 25 different agents just on Twitter answering your queries. They advertise it offline. If you need any help with our products, go on Twitter, and here are all our Twitter addresses in the 12th force. So it's making, it's making uh, customer service public. Uh, it's not like when you phone a call center in India to complain about a product, you're complaining in a, in a public forum. And it's actually very good for brands and companies who have good customer service, because no one knows about the experience in the call center, apart from one or two people you may tell but online everyone knows about it. So if, you're, if your company's got good customer service, it's perfect for social networking. Facilitate conversation, and as I said, great for promotions and giveaways. Here's an example of, of a company that had done, Moonfruit is a company that uh, you can go online on their website, create your own website and host it with them, and it's quite easy to do that. They would had a competition to win a, a MacBook, which was probably about $1,500, something like that. Um, and because of the virality of Twitter, they had, 40, they had about 400 followers post co pre competition, and a couple of days later, they had 40,000 followers on Twitter. Um, they had nearly half a million clicks back to their own website. Their revenue went up by 20%, and they, they started, they were the number one trending topic on Twitter, which means Moonfruit, their company name, was what everyone in the world was talking about on Twitter the most. Something that you don't need to be too clever on is LinkedIn. And it's a very powerful, so it's a very, very good uh, network for uh, professionals and service industries. So some tips are to complete your profile 100%. Ask for and give recommendations. Um, when you're on LinkedIn uh, and you've used someone else's product or service on LinkedIn, that's nice just to give them a testimonial. Quite often they'll return the favor for you. And it allows people to almost see your CV online um, and see what other people are saying about you online, and generally people don't give bad recommendations. I think you've had one, Martin? No. <laughs> Connect to as many people as you can. Uh, and I would say a lot of people have linked their, their Twitter account to LinkedIn, so that all the stuff they're typing on Twitter will go on to LinkedIn, but I would say now to unlink it, um, because um, people on LinkedIn uh, are business professionals and they don't want to get too much, uh, too much personal chat all the time and they don't want to know what you've had for breakfast, lunch and dinner.